What? I'm summoning demon ghosts. I'm summoning demon ghosts. With cat ears. <laughs> demon cat ghosts. Was little Joe a cat then? I have no idea. Because you're playing him? No. I'm playing a game, Mom. Mm. Okay. Good night. Good night. It's not like I buzzed in on you. I knocked. I knocked actually earlier. I can't tell if you're knocking That's on not my things. You could say Sierra. I did say Sierra and knocked. Neither of us heard that. Neither of you and Pumpkin? Jay? Jay? You didn't hear me? No. She would have told me. She usually does. I went like this. Sierra! Good night! Then I went and said good night to Caden. Then I came back and busted in. Okay, well, good night. Say good night, night to your potato. He's not a potato. <laughs> He's a potato. <laughs> He's not a potato, Sierra. <laughs> I gotta go feed the rat babies. You going to harvest? I gotta watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I was going to watch my fave highlights. Why don't you come on out? Might be good. Stretch your legs, see the parade. Ever seen the game live? Never. Come on out to Harfest, you never know. Yeah, alright. Yeah, go smelters. Go smelters. I approve of this relationship. This friendship is pure, and I approve of it. He's like, maybe your friend, you know, is kind of shut in. And he's like, doesn't know how to socialize. But you're like, you know what, you could come out with me. It'll be cool. <laughs> It'll be fun. The rat babies are on the other screen, aren't they? Let's talk uh... to Angus. <laughs> like, where are our babies? <laughs> Angle! Happy Angle. Halloween! Haha, <laughs> hey, you too. You feeling spoopy? Oh, extremely, can't you tell? Do your spoopy face. <laughs> Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. <laughs> oh. You gotta see it. Nice effort, though. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> He moved his ears. <laughs> he moved his ears up and he smiled. It was his <laughs> spoopy face. <laughs> Maybe if like you'd never seen him smile, it would be spoopy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so cool. Should we even talk to our mom at the church? You know, we're tr we're trying to get a good relationship with her to solve problems out. You just can't. Oh, look, our friend! You hyped for Harfest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? Nah, dude, it's cool. I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That's pretty cool. Actually. That actually sounds really cool. It is! Gonna get a pizza, too! Oh, do my see. Wow, you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? Hang out in really embarrassing places online or ruining accurate. my life. <laughs> Both are accurate. <laughs> Hang out in really embarrassing places online. Yep. See ya. Later. Stop thinking about your dead mom. Aw, uh, everything is so great and harvesty! Which is basically just a little less spoopy Halloween. 
Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit. Take in the harvesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. Gotta feed the babies. Gotta feed the baboos. Quit your job yet? Hey, oh. Aunt Mall Cop. Mall Cops don't carry guns, May. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? I'm going to pop a cap in your ass if you don't shut the fuck up. Oh, okay. Well, you could do that. I could do that. That'd be pretty badass, actually. I would respect you then. <laughs> Blocking off the road. Oh yeah, I wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No. Tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it, then? You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. <laughs> like, yeah, that would be pretty intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> Like, guns are intimidating, but imagine someone just like, Please, officer, I wield a battle axe. <laughs> someone charging okay. at you with a battle axe. Uh... Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid if I put my hands up, he'll chop them off. <laughs> I'll look into it. It Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen, that's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust giant load-bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble in one day. That's a good point. It's the hit record! We've always had the hit record at Harfest! Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue that we should retire. Shut up, Andrew! What if it kills somebody? Okay, everyone, let's just take a step back here and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at Harfest tonight! Fine, then I'll just send all the lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen! <laughs> Colleen's like the downer in this group. <laughs> but that is accurate. A lot of people get hurt on those machines. Like, the zipper they always bring to, like, the mullet fest obviously hurts people. <laughs> What's the zipper? It's kind of like a Ferris wheel, but it goes really fast and your cage flips. Oh, yeah. I Oblong hate Oblong shaped. I went on one once. Never again. Never again. Never. I smacked my head so hard on those. Breathe some fire already, dude. What's wrong, Pastor Kate? Howdy! You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. By Bruce? Uh, date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling, me heading out, and them not showing up. You were meeting them at the statue of Saint... Rubeo! Rubeo? Yeah, the fire-breathing guy. Who, like, ate people. That's a bit of an oversimplification. That's what he did. But yeah, basically. Cool guy to have a statue of. Outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here. But can we learn something from St. Rubeo? Breathe Eat fire. People. Eat people. <laughs> Both are cool. Eat people. Sure! <laughs> this statue is part of our Encourage Criminal Acts Outreach! It's working! I hope it's like she wasn't ready for Bruce and Bruce to miss or something. Well, we'll find out. Nope, he's still here. You gonna go down to Harfest tonight? Don't know. Maybe. Keep to my shelves. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. Well, see, I suppose. 
Bye bye, Bruce. Hope you're there. Where's something spoopy? Bye, Brucey. Put on like a pillowcase. What the fuck? Hey! I'm meditating. Hello. Hey! Traveler from distant lands. You have journeyed far. And it has brought you here. To us. This is scary. <laughs> Actually, I walked like 15 minutes from my house. Walk far from home. We will tell of your future. But first, be truthful. Tell us. Which of these have you seen? A shipwreck. A ghost on a hill. An arrow loosed. Loosed? Really? I... Uh... Hmm. Shipwreck? You're all like 14 year old goths. Why am I answering this? I think we saw the shipwreck, because wouldn't the shipwreck be the boat that we see at the beginning? I guess so, yeah. We saw a shipwreck. Did we see an arrow loose? On my way into town. In the playground. This old ship. How did you... You have answered well. We will peer into your future. And give you what help we can. In the coming dark. What, daylight savings end? Alright, go for it, man. Ha. Huh. <laughs> ha! Ha! Do you, like, practice that talking in turn thing? Tell us first. What is God? In this place. Wow. Uh. Is it... Caring, but absent? Uncaring, but distant. Vicious and roaming? Can we go with nice and helpful? Okay, fine. Caring and absent. Uncaring and distant. Vicious and roaming. What is God, Sierra? <laughs> uh... Okay, well, d are they actually asking for our death? Are there is there a right answer to this? Because I feel like, in a literal sense, he would be like caring and absent, but like he's also vicious and roaming. Fuck it, let's go with the worst option: vicious and roaming. It ate our futures. And moved on. But we live in the ruins. Uh huh. We see something. In your future. We know! We know. We know. Okay, already, Jesus. Gotta, the suspense is getting me. They cry out to it. But it is others. Who will sacrifice? Okay, cool. Well, that's cryptic. Let's try something easier. What am I going to have for dinner tonight? Don't know, don't care. I want tacos. We'll have some. Have them soon. <laughs> we'll all have tacos soon. Oh, it's okay, tacos. Okay, well, I'm gonna get gone. Stop. Do you see the mystical symbol? Etched upon the sacred rock. The pentagram you guys drew? The spooky pentagrams your teens drew? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The shut up, it's full of mystical shit. <laughs> okay? It is the first of three. Find it thrice, and it shall find you. In the dark. Okay, cool. Well, 
I'm gonna head out. Well, now, what a fun! You it. guys are adorable. And weird. But fun kind of weird. This is serious. Like, we're not kidding! Like, we don't care or anything. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, like dude. Alright, alright, I'll keep an eye out for pentagrams and whatnot. Cool. <laughs> you broke your speaking order. Oh, uh, no. We're just going backwards now. Are you freaking out yet? See ya, weird goth teens. A little bit. We're not gonna narc on us to pastor, right? For being out here. Nah. Cool, thanks. Three weird teens I met. Where are the pentagrams? <laughs> Supposed to find the pentagrams, apparently. We should do that once we talk to Mother. Mother. We couldn't even see the pentagram that they drew, though. Will we see the other pentagrams? I guess we'll find out. Let me in. If Pastor K isn't in here, what's the reason for being in here? I don't know. The reason is nothing. There's nothing here. Great. Leave. <laughs> All right, we tried. <laughs> mom doesn't want us anymore. Good talk. Good talk, mom. Maybe don't put all your pressure on your kid. Since that would be nice. For like eighteen consecutive years. That'd be nice if you stopped that. That would be a good thing that you did if you stopped. Just a thought. Your child is not you! Just saying! What happened to that guy's head? We may never know. He died. <laughs> Feed the rat babies! Feed the children! Open it. You don't need me to open it for you. You don't need me to open all the doors for you. Why this one? Blech. Mallard. Mallard, our husband don't. Alright, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore. And you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street? As we pass each other? Yes. I love you, Miracle Rats. <laughs> that may be a little sad. <laughs> I don't know, that's very well worded. <laughs> May has a way with words. She could become a writer if she wanted to. Oh. Huh. Yep. Whoop. Yep.
looking for pentagrams, apparently. I haven't seen any pentagrams. Uh, they're kind of hidden, it says. So, like, on a poster in the room. So, you have to go to Greg and Angus's place where they live. And then you have to go to, like, the top floor. Oh, 